evolutionary biology is in some ways not doing anything that's necessarily that much more practical than the student who does history. Um, now, if they get a strong quantitative training and the historian doesn't, which of course, there's no reason a historian can't, but they often don't, you know, then there's a difference there. But I, I do see that it as less, less being about science versus humanities and more being about what's an education for. Um, and it does seem to me one of the things that is in danger of being lost is the idea that part of what good education does is it creates citizens. Um, and that in the rush to justify everything in education in terms of you know, what's it going to do for your starting salary the first year out, we're losing that. Um, you know, and again, that's not a necessarily a humanities versus non-humanities thing, right? I think part of being a decent citizen in the 21st century is an elementary grounding in statistics, certainly, right? It's part of the discourse of our world. Um, so I do think that there is something of a crisis of what I think is probably excessively short-term and practically oriented education, obviously more at some institutions than others. Um, and it does seem to me that part of the key here really is that it's, it's short-sighted, right? That while I would want to justify a lot of higher ed without reference to you know, the salary that it will enable you to learn, earn, I would also point out that, you know, it's true, if you look two years out of college, history and English students are not doing nearly as well as, say, engineering students. Turns out, actually, if you look 10 years out, a lot of that difference disappears. That, again, if you think of what we do in humanities and social sciences, you know, as, yes, there's a body of knowledge that's imparted, but even more, there are a set of skills. Well, some of the things that those skills are good for is actually various kinds of management. Um, and 10 years out, right, what, where, you know, and I have nothing against engineering, but at a certain point, the engineer, if they're just an engineer, is gonna have a hard time competing with the kid who graduated last year, who will take less pay, and is just as good an engineer. Um, he or she is gonna have to move into managing people in one way or another. Um, and there, I think, at least a, a lot of the skills of the, of the humanities come in handy. That's not to say they're totally self-sufficient. I mean, like I said, I would like to see every, every student in the humanities at least get a basic grounding in stats, it seems to me. It's part of our world. Um, but part of what I do find frustrating about the push in certain seg areas to what is conceived of as a very practical education is I'm not sure it's actually any more practical. Um, and I am pretty sure that from the point of view of other things, of helping our graduates be students, of giving them the capacity to enjoy certain parts of life, right? I mean, you know, there are a set of skills you need to have to go to the theater or to a either classical or jazz concert and get the most out of it. You know, those don't show up in GDP immediately, but they do show up in human satisfaction.